Is Microsoft 365 Copilot free now? And is it being included as standard in Microsoft 365 subscriptions going forward? I'm being asked those questions a lot and I'm gonna answer those questions for you today in this video. Welcome to Microsoft 365 in 5. If you're fed up of having to skip through a really long video to answer a simple question, you're in the right place. My name is Matt and I run a company called Labyrinth Technology. We help empower businesses with their IT, Microsoft 365 and and cybersecurity. You can find a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. So we're going to dive into the Microsoft website to look at the Microsoft 365 personal plans first up. So as you can see here, we've got two different Microsoft 365 personal subscriptions. You've got the personal edition and you've got the family edition. Now the family edition really represents significant value over the personal subscription if you've got a few people in your family because it's just a couple of extra pounds per month and allows you to license up to six people. So is Microsoft including Copilot as standard in their subscriptions now? Yes, they are for the Microsoft 365 personal subscription. As you can see here, we've only got these two tiers now, and we can see here we've got productivity apps with Microsoft Copilot. So what does that actually mean? What does Copilot do in the 365 personal subscription? Um, well, it allows you, similar to the business subscription, to generate content in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but also to help you manage your emails in your personal Outlook email address. You can also use it to help you create videos and design photographs, pretty neat. But what about Microsoft 365 business users? Well, you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot for free to an extent. Let's have a look. So if you go to the Microsoft 365 portal, you will see on the left hand side, there is a Copilot button. If you don't see that button, it may need to be enabled by your administrator. Everyone should have that, even if you don't have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. So let's click on that. And now I'm into the Microsoft 365 Copilot web application. So at the top here, you'll see we've got a toggle between work and web. If you don't have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, you will not see the work option. So I'll explain in a minute what that actually gives you. So for free, you can use this Microsoft 365 Copilot chat application. What it allows you to do is generate content or ask questions, and it uses information from the web to generate that content or to respond to your query. So for example, I could ask it to write me a blog post on Microsoft 365 Copilot. And that's searching from the web, and it's generated for me a unique blog post on Microsoft 365 Copilot. So that's pretty neat. Um, I can ask it a question. I can say, uh, what is, you know, it could be anything from what's the weather today or what is a data security policy? Something really exciting. There you go. So it explains what the data security policy is. I can also ask it to write me a data security policy. Um, but I can see here in the responses, the sources of the information. Um, so if I want to actually know where that information came from, I can just click on one of those links. As a business user, you get all of this included in your Microsoft 365 subscription. But what extra features do you get if you actually pay for the Microsoft 365 Copilot license? Let's take a look. So with a paid Microsoft 365 subscription, I've got the option to toggle to work at the top here. So what that does is it uses data from my Microsoft 365 account or data that my account has access to, such as my emails, Teams messages, OneDrive data or SharePoint data, and it uses that to help respond to my query. So we've got a few prompts here. I can ask it to help me prepare for an upcoming meeting, and it's going to look at the meeting, understand the context of that meeting, and then pull data from my recent interactions via email, Teams, or files that I've worked on that it feels are relevant to that meeting and create me a list of points to help me prepare. I can also ask it questions and it will use data from files in my Microsoft 365 environment. Now this is just scratching the surface. We've also got a Copilot option in Microsoft Outlook, so I can ask it to find emails, organize my inbox by creating rules. I can ask it to arrange a meeting with a colleague based on a mutually convenient time in both of our calendars. I can do all sorts. I can get it to summarize emails, I can get it to draft emails for me. And you also get Copilot buttons in the Microsoft 365 apps, such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And it allows you to generate content, 
summarize files and do things like create formulas or data insights in Microsoft Excel. It's packed full of functionality. So if you want to understand more about how to use the paid version of Microsoft 365 Copilot and what it can do for you, then check out some of my other videos. But I hope this video has answered your question. If you found it useful, please make sure you subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Give the video a like and drop us a comment with any questions or feedback that you have. Thanks for watching.